Really appreciate everybody being here. Um, really excited, you know, that we got a chance to go out and, and play well. Um, that, that's the most important thing, you know, as, as a coach. Uh, you, you prepare like crazy with the players all week long, and then you want to just see them go out and execute and play well and have fun. You know, to me, that's what it's all about. And they were able to do that today. You know, a couple of things that they were able to do was be able to, you know, 4 0 start for the first time since 2008. Scored a season high of 48 points, um, 28 points in a quarter for the first time this year, excuse me, for, for the first time since 2009 against Michigan State. Season high rushing yards, which was big, being able to get the running game going. You know, you guys kept asking me about the running game and when it was going to show up, and I'm not really sure when it was going to show up, but we were going to stick to our plan and just keep working at it. Um, we scored on our first straight eight possessions, which is awesome. And then UMass, for the entire game, only had three yards rushing for the entire game. Uh, the last point, which I think is a big point and probably the most important point, is that we were able to play a bunch of guys today. We were able to get a bunch of guys' experience. Our plan was after the first series of the second half uh, that we would start to substitute. So basically, those guys got to play the whole third quarter and all of the fourth quarter, which was huge. Um, you know, from a critical standpoint, um, we're going to coach for four quarters, and I thought some of the guys that had opportunities today didn't play um, as well as I think they could have played. But the most important thing is we're going to watch the tape now, and we're going to be able to evaluate it with them, and we'll be able to grow from this, which, which is awesome. So um, great win, a great crowd. Um, the students have been awesome all year long. So thankful to the best students in the country. And uh, open up the questions. You guys got the two touchdowns and the fumble recovery was kind of sandwiched in between there. Two touchdowns in a minute and 23 seconds. Could you kind of sense the game shifting at that point and what was it like getting Bill those two touchdowns in that compact time? Yeah, I, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it's kind of all of a blur to me that those that, that series, I don't really kind of um, remember it in detail to speak, um, you know, the way I'd like to speak about it. I'd have to watch the tape and kind of go back and look at it. Um, you know, the, the things that stand out to me are the things that I kind of talked about. Um, you know, was, was real pleased. I think our D-line has been playing really well all year. The fact that we're able to make people one-dimensional I think is huge on defense. Um, you know, and I thought our offense did some things that they weren't able to do earlier in the year. You're, they're the things that stick out to me. I also thought um, Ficken, you know, being able to knock the ball through the end zone, we made some adjustments with him, and that's been real helpful. I think the fact that our, our punting has been really good, and now Daniel was able to get in there and be able to really get a good punt off there to the left, so some real positives. Coach, it seems like – Coach, it seems like, um, you know, you talked about getting all your backs a lot of touches. Um, it seems like when Akil gets a lot of touches, he's been productive so far this season. Um, it's been a little inconsistent for him. Do you think he proved today that he deserves more, uh, more carries? Are you related to Akil? I am not related You're to Akil. You're trying to get Akeel. him some more carries? No, I was just, <laughs> just going with what I see out there. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, he's done, he's done a nice job. He really has. Um, you know, I... From what I've seen, I know the statistics may something different, may say something different, but I think we got three backs that we feel really good about. We're going to need to keep rotating those guys in to keep them fresh, but I think they've all shown that they have the ability to make plays and have a role in this offense, and Akil's one of those guys. You know, I, I don't know if there's one guy right now that's, that's jumped out. Um, statistically, it may, it, it may say something else, but um, I think we're going to have to use all three of those guys all year long, um, and that's our plan right now kind of been close games this one how much from a confidence standpoint just the guys can go out and have a, a real fun day where it, it's not a close game and, and they can you know build on that just from a confidence standpoint does that does this kind of win help in that regard I, I think the most valuable aspect is that we were able to get a bunch of guys reps we were able to stay healthy um, and I think that's maybe where the confidence comes from is the fact that you're able to play those other guys and, and now they can grow and learn from it um, you know and I think being able to get Get our starters out of the game and keep them fresh and keep them healthy is, is important as well. So uh, I, I would actually say the tight wins are probably more important in terms of building character and toughness than, uh, you know, than, a, than a win like this. You've talked a lot about the fact that winning can kind of mask some flaws and losing exposes them today in a win where the, the ground game ended up being so good. How do you kind of find the, the little things that will work well no matter who the opponent is in, in the run game and in the offensive line? Well, I, I don't, you know, 
we spend a lot of time studying our opponent and understanding tendencies and things like that. But in the end, it really has very little to do with that. It's about us. It's about us and how we execute and how we work together. And are we going to have the guy on the right and the guy on the left's back? Are we going to be there for him and do our jobs? Um, you know, each week, you know, we're going to have tremendous challenges in this league and with our out-of-conference schedule. But ultimately, it comes down to Penn State. And are we executing the offense, defense, and special teams? And, and are we 100% focused um, one play at a time? And are we uh, giving 100% effort one play at a time? You know, um, I, I'm pleased with the progress we're making. We still got a long ways to go. Um, but we're 1-0 and this week. We're going to enjoy being 1-0. and and we'll start over uh, tomorrow morning getting, getting started on Northwestern. We'll get started on Northwestern. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Have a great weekend.